you can do anything you put your mind to welcome back to another video it's your girl christina fashion in today's video i'm gonna talk to you about what it takes to run a jewelry business i'm gonna give you tips and advice on business essentials and apps your business needs to get started i know you've been wanting to start this business for a while and you've been going back and forth and you're trying to figure out what items what essentials um you need to get started because you're on a budget yes i got you we are all on the budget i know i'm on a budget when i started the jewelry business i had to work with a certain amount and stick to that budget because your girl is still in college i still have a part-time job i have to make sure like i am staying in budget i'm not overspending and i can get the items i need but one thing i didn't do was doubt myself or tell myself that i could not do it or i did not have enough funds girl don't tell yourself that I feel like that's the worst way to start off when it comes to running a business. Always have faith to know that you can do anything you put your mind to. But let's get started on this business essential slash apps. So one business essential your jewelry business must have is jewelry wipes. So this little item is needed, especially when you're packaging your orders. You want to wipe down the jewelry and make sure they look clean. You don't want to have any type of marks on them. You want to pack them and make them look neat and professional. You can get a pack of 50 jewelry wipes on Amazon for about like $10. They just come in handy so you can wipe it down when you're doing your quality check or your quality control, which is inspecting the item before you package the item and ship it off you want to make sure it doesn't have any type of marks or any stains second thing you need for your business is printer for your labels and you can use a regular printer or you can use an actual like roller label printer i hope i'm saying that right where um, you buy a specific type of printer to print out labels only and usually like the label um, paper that you insert within the machine is sticky so all you have to do is just peel it off and stick it onto your bone miller i am actually looking to invest into that because i've been using regular printer and it's good just to start off with if you already have it at home it comes in handy and you can just print it and I have to worry about that. In the long run, I would definitely invest in an actual like label machine that can print off label for you. Um, just because it's easy because when you're on a tape, you have to keep on like re-upping on tape. It's just not like fun to run to be midway doing your packaging and you run out of tape and you have to run to the store. So I highly suggest a, a label printer. The next essential item you're gonna need is bubble mailers. Um, just because it adds a layer of protection for your jewelry when you're shipping it off or if you plan on doing a actual box um, you can insert it in a poly mailer just to give you that extra protection while it's being shipped off I wouldn't use a regular flimsy um, envelope or anything else besides that just because um, the attachment within the bubble mailer just gives you that extra protection because jewelry is usually dainty and you don't want it to break during like transport. Moving on, containers for your jewelry brand. So as your business starts to grow or even when you're getting your first um, shipment in of inventory and if you're doing it in your room, if you're doing it in your college dorm, if you're doing maybe in your own office space, you definitely want to have containers for your um, jewelry because you don't want it everywhere you don't want to just smash it into your closet you definitely want to have um, easy access to it so something like this like a little basket or a container it's just very good to help you store these little items and also I would suggest putting a label inside your container so that way when you're grabbing your item you can know what you're grabbing instead of all being in one bag it will look messy you want to treat your business like it's an actual business by having a little section where all your jewelry is laid out and you know where to grab it essential that's needed is packaging so you want to invest in jewelry boxes you want to invest in tissue paper you want to invest in display cards and stamps 
so i mean you don't need all these items but it's great to have them just so you can give your packaging an extra branded look and to make sure that your quality of jewelry is matching with your packaging and this is something i've kind of am struggling at just because i have a certain vision for my um jewelry brand and i want to make sure it's being portrayed through my packaging look and don't be afraid to play around especially when you're beginning you're not gonna know exactly the look you're going for you may have to look for inspiration you may have to like just play around with different type of styles of packaging and figure out what goes along with your brand that all matters because you want your customer to read something that's pretty that they want to share on their story um so that way they're creating that word of mouth for you their followers are seeing your brand and they want to come over and check out your pieces i get 100 boxes from amazon um i'll list the price below i don't remember on top of my head and then I like to get my tissue papers from Amazon. But if you want customized tissue papers, I suggest going on No Issue. No Issue, um, which is a company where they allow you to customize like thank you cards, tissue papers. They also allow you to do stamps. And what's so great about them is that it's easy to kind of do it online, see it how it will look like once you receive that item. And they're just a great company. Their customer service is bomb. So I would definitely look into getting branded tissue paper just because when they're opening up the package, especially when you're getting a small item, you really want to pay attention to every detail and make sure that they're getting a very branded experience. That way they stay loyal to your brand. And it's a great way by using stamps, tissue papers. Another essential that. I would invest in is a white box lighting. So when you start photographing your jewelry pieces, you want to make sure you get the best lighting as possible. If your house or the place you're doing your business doesn't have much natural lighting, definitely invest in a white box. That way you can insert your jewelry and take nice product photography for your website and make it stand out and get as much lighting into that product so every detail of that jewelry stands out. And you can get that from Amazon as well and I'll insert the link for that as well. So now moving on to the essential apps your business needs. So I get a lot of questions on this and some of the apps I like to use um, is Canva. Canva is a great website I mentioned in almost every video because it's a software you can edit your images, play around with graphics, create unique graphics, they have templates, and that's where I create all my Instagram posts. That's how I'm able to create nice, you know, Instagram feeds using their fonts, their color, and you can also build your own brand kit and where you can have all the elements and color that your brand uses all in one place so when you're creating your graphic um it's easy to use and you can play around with the styles of your brand colors another app i like to use is tezza because tezza is like a unique like um app where you can edit your images using like filters and presets and the colors on there are very um warm color tones if you're into that type of aesthetic they just have very aesthetic pleasing filters that you can use and you can kind of play around with it and play around to your brand liking and that's one of my favorite and then the last but not least favorite app i like to use is facetune facetune is one of the apps i use primarily when i when i want to edit my images i can go on there and play around with the lighting i can brighten it um i can decrease the saturation I can increase the contrast and show off the details of my jewelry a lot more. So it's a favorite website to use all around for editing your images. Oh, this video was very helpful. I hope you got some tips and advice and business essentials you may need for your business. If you're scared and you're still doubting yourself and you still feel like you don't have enough money, just use a little bit of what you have and start you know, saving some money. And don't be afraid. I feel like once you start the journey, you will know what you need next for your business so i gave you guys the basic essentials to get started and i hope this video was helpful if you like this video give a like thumbs up share with a friend that may want to start their own jewelry business and i'll see you on the next video